Uh, the difficult par three, Justin Thomas, what a round he is putting together so far. Six under on the day. We're going to follow the flight of this tee shot with our TrackMan Tracer technology. This brought to you by T-Mobile for Business. Yeah, I mean, the fat of this green is about five steps past that hole location. But, uh, he's taking dead aim. <laughs> oh, come on. Let him in. Come on. Come on. <laughs> they have the opportunity to take their game over to the PGA Tour. Shane Lowry on the ninth, outside the cut line. Needs something spectacular to happen. Yeah, he needs a birdie and a prayer. <laughs> prayer answer. <laughs> Come on. Pulls it out for Eagle at the last to make the cut. <laughs> to make the cut, birdie, birdie, Eagle. His last Four three deep, holes. his last three. You know, it was like a video game. Just had it on a string. You see him setting up on the left side top? of that tee, trying to play a cut right off the middle of the green. Randall, that's they, just they, cool. A bit of a bad break there. I mean, it looked like it was dead center, a foot from the cup. He'll have that left to keep the lead. As Nick Dunlap, the amateur, is one back. Siwoo Kim, yes. That gets. So started on the back nine and just kept it going all the way through. This is second at 17. Another Chris Byron shot here. And saw a lot of that from him today. This pin high. Ball yeah. in the air for Zach Johnson yeah. on his second shot into the par four second. And it's a beautiful shot. A kick in birdie left there. Really hits the short arms a long way. Yeah, beautifully done. Sure is, and that left. Much more of the Justin Thomas that we've become accustomed to, very consistent all week. As we go back over to the fourth, this is Vince Whaley. How good is this? Beautiful shot there by Vince. Probably just a little sort off pitching wedge here. On a great line and perfect distance as well. Not sure we expected this. Goes out in 30 and then makes the turn, has another opportunity. Yeah, off the back of the green here. Again, these are some of the best greens that these players will ever put on. You get it online, nothing's going to stop it. He's staring at it. Why wouldn't you? What a shot to start off your third round here at the first of the stadium course was born right in the height of Tiger Woods' dominance of the game and was named after the great legend, Tiger Semikawa from Japan. Almost becomes a stadium course legend with a shot like that. All right, back over to six at La Quinta. This for Eagle, Dunlap. And a five-shot lead. Count it again. Five-shot lead. The biggest lead by an amateur ever on the PGA Tour. Looking like the guy now that won 15 times. Yeah, you know, look, this is one of the prettiest things in all of golf. Justin Thomas hitting iron shots. It's, you know, technically it's it's gorgeous. Really upright swing, but my favorite part about his golf swing is just how quiet it is. Missouri's defensive coordinator, Blake Baker, he's a star. Sam Burns, also a star. Again, tied for the league. Xander Shoffley just 95 yards left. Yeah, you do have a backboard, so you can at least fly it beyond, spin it back down the hill. Oh like so. Beautiful shot. See that backstop, a little back left of the hole. Justin Thomas used that very nicely. You can get this one within three or four feet if you get it right. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. There's always something. There's always a good kick that you get. And that could be the one right there. Who knows?
to McIntyre on 13 for birdie. Yeah. Yes. Bobby McIntyre to seven under par. And Fino's going to have to play this back nine and under par for sure if he wants to make the cut. Because right now, 11 under par is sitting right on that number. Speak of the man, and he appears. Sam Burns flared it way right off the tee, played a second to here. This now his third to the par five. Robert McIntyre from earlier today at 16, Amelia. Pretty difficult shot. Ball below his feet from the rough, got a wood in his hand. Oh, and how about this runner? Wow. <laughs> wow, that was close for an albatross. Then he has some time to, to make that decision if he does go ahead and win. Nice shot from Ricky. A moment ago, Shuffler's second at 12. Yeah. Staring at it for good reason. Beautiful. Ninth fairway on the stadium course, Alexander Bjork. From the fairway, he's 10 back at Dunlap. <laughs> well, any indication this is just right at left of the flag. How about that shot right there? The guy is locked in right now with JT. Another one from JT. This would be for his sixth birdie in a row. to get to four back. Yeah, it can be aggressive with this putt, putting back straight back up the hill. Tracking. Oh, no. Sam Burns now a share a second with Justin Thomas. Oh, I'd say the players because, you know, the green is, I think it's, you know, if you can hit on it, spin it off, you can hit it in the middle of it and go off the back edge, you can miss it to the right. This green doesn't have a lot of movement in it. You hit this green. The 15th, Rio Hisasuni's third. Oh, and just do that. Keep the putter in the bag. Birdie, zero putt. Head over to the par five, 16th and 15 under. Beautiful touch. So can't lay a 61 back in 2021. And how about Justin Thomas today to match him with a 61 in the third round? Yeah, I mean, it depends on what Sam Burns does here, but he may well have played himself into the final. Dunlap from the fairway this for 59. <laughs> Dunlap for birdie on the ninth. This would be the second ever 60 by an amateur on the PGA Tour. What a round by the 20 year old. Nick Dunlap a 60. He's at 27 under, currently leading by four. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here and to subscribe, click here.